really sounds like all the things we hear about are true cigarettes champagne and drugs <laughs> does that pretty much sum it up yes 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 these women gave me the courage to come forward these women gave me the courage to come forward when at last i entered the consultation room there were five shrinks sitting in a circle three of them wore eyeglasses like i did which to me meant they were the good aliens the other two didn't wear glasses, so they were the evil aliens. Now, the good aliens could read my mind, so communication between us was unnecessary. <laughs> These women gave me the courage to come forward. These women gave me the courage to come forward. My life ended the day I met Bill Cosby. <laughs> it did. It did. Why but do you, hopefully why do you say now that, that? she's an empowered woman <laughs> now that she knows that yes, I mean, there I are people who will listen to her and there are those who really believe her and understand that she's been through a lot. She was a Jane Doe in Andrea's lawsuit, uh, uh, the one that was ultimately settled, uh, uh, the one involving Bill Cosby. Gloria, uh, I, wanna make I, I can't let this yes. go by. You said your life mm -hmm. ended the day you met yes. Bill Cosby. Why do you say that? Because he is as a powerful, and I'm a Christian, he's as powerful or more powerful than God, and you don't, you don't mess with God. These women gave me the courage to come forward. These women gave me the courage to come forward. Janice, you're a great distraction, Janice. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> that was me, you know. Did you say that? Could I get one? Did you say that? Please. You! <laughs> you know yes. what? You're a fucking great fucking distraction. What the fuck about you, go, go, go. you fucking fuck asshole? <laughs> that is easy, girl. This isn't a bullfight. <laughs> oh my god. You are a handful, girl. You're two handfuls. You but you're a fucking asshole! Whoa. I'm still after you. Come on, you're gorgeous, girl. I love you. You're a cunt! Bring it! You're a cunt! Bring it! You're a cunt! Bring it! I think we'll put that in the book. Yeah. So everything is fresh. And I'm in a little airport, and here comes Mr. Cosby walking boom, boom, boom. And you know when you see someone and you want to say hi, like you recognize him, and he went to speak and then went and just walked past me like I didn't even exist. One of those women who raised her hand and said she believed that Bill Cosby drugged her was Beverly Johnson. And as you know, yesterday we filed a suit for defamation, defamation per se, and intentional infliction of emotional distress against Ms. Johnson. And in the complaint, one of the things that we said is that if people would look at her own statements, which change each time she gives an interview, if they would look at her own statements where she claims on Dr. Phil to have some short period after her memoir came out, seen my client, Mr. Cosby, in a small airport and that he looked at her in a mean way and backed away and then ignored her. How is that even possible, Mr. Roberts, when my client is legally and functionally blind? How is that even possible when he wasn't even in an airport, didn't take a flight from the time that Ms. Johnson's memoir came out up until the time she was on Dr. Phil?